Hello, I'm Tony Loicono with Tea Party HD, and I'm here with Phil Valentine. His website's philvalentine.com, and we're going to be talking about the opportunities that exist uh, throughout this United States to join the Valentine Army. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. And we have no weapons, by the way. Oh, that's a good thing. Except that's good. cameras, so <laughs> which is a lethal weapon if you're a liberal. I love that. I love that. Well, today we're going to talk a lot about opportunities that exist. And one of the things that I sort of want to start out with is equipping that army out there. And one of the areas I think is important is our youth right. and educating our youth and what's going on. What can we do to really engage them? And I think the Valentine Army might be a great start. It's a battle for the control of what people are seeing out there. And I think there are a lot of uh, uh, young folks who want to get involved in the political process. And they're, they're just now learning what this is all about. And some of this they learned in school, some of it they didn't. If you're at the right place at the right time and you're engaged and you're involved and you're covering things like we're going to have the Valentine Army covering, you can make a tremendous difference by, by uh, with our website, your website, uh, YouTube, and all these other great avenues that we have to make a difference. Well, I look at what YouTube has done and I look at what we're calling the political uh, corner, the intersection of politics and YouTube, right. and this is going to be a great start. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful start, too, in, in HD. So, uh, I mean, it, and I think it's going to be gr uh, great, and the thing about it is they can go to the Tea Party HD, and they can get all this information, and then there's information that's archived, and they can really just drink all this in and learn about it and find out what's going on. But not only they can do that, they can be a part of it. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the beautiful part of this, is that you can get people out there, we can arm them with a camera, and now they have that power that the networks have. You know, the networks are losing their influence That's day by day. Right. I mean, the fewer and fewer and fewer people are going there because they're, they're becoming more and more irrelevant. So you look at the people that are going to be relevant. That's the people that are actually on the ground that are covering these things. And how many times have you said to yourself, man, I wish I had a camera. Wish I had a camera here. Well, now these people are going to have cameras there and they're going to be covering these things. They're going to feed them to us and we're going to feed them to the rest of the world. Putting the boots on the streets. A absolutely, putting the boots on the street and putting the boots in their butts for these folks who are who are, have not been doing their jobs as network uh, anchors and network reporters and giving us the whole story. You can't hide from all these cameras anymore. Now, you talk to a lot of different people. You talk to entertainers there in the music uh, capital there in Nashville, right. and you talk to a lot of people on the right. You talk to moderates and you talk to Democrats. What are some of the compelling discussions that you're seeing that all peoples are talking about today? It doesn't matter where you're from. Well, of course, the, the overriding issue today or the issues are the health care thing and what the Obama administration is trying to do. And, and, and people have an opinion, whether they're moderates, conservatives, uh, independents, liberals, whoever, they have an opinion about this. Um, I think these are, these are really important issues that we should discuss and debate as we do every day on our show and, and get to the heart of what these issues mean. Well, when you talk about that specifically, one of the great things that we're having the opportunity to work with Phil Valentine show is looking at sort of propagating the opportunities out to the 72 markets for other people to bring us good, solid information. And you're now in 72 markets across the United States. That's pretty much in almost every state in the United right. States, correct? Right. Tell us a little bit about some of the stations you're on and, and some of the people that you've gotten to know. Are there any great stories out there of anybody you just say, you know, they're calling me all the time and they're really giving me some good tidbits. Are you seeing that from people out there calling? Yeah, we're in, we're in markets like Flint, Michigan and Savannah, Georgia in Denver, Colorado, and we're all over the place. And Flint, Michigan really is, I think, the, the canary in the coal mine through all this. They have gone through uh, what liberalism does to a state and to a city, and now they're trying to dig out of it. I think they're probably 10 to 15 years ahead of the rest of it. So we did an entire hour uh, one day on what caused the collapse of Flint, Michigan. So, I mean, it is ridiculous. Do we want the rest of the country to look like Flint? And I'm not picking on Flint. There's some wonderful hey, places. Hey, I was married in Flint. in Flint, Michigan. Well, there you go. So there's some <laughs> wonderful places still in Flint as there are in a lot of places, but really the entire state of Michigan and Flint in particular is evidence of what happens when you have uh, a decade upon decade of liberal control uh, where, where you don't allow the free market to work. The market needs to decide about the cost of health care and the rest of it, but they think that everything, everything is a right. Obama says that health care is a right, and some people are saying, well, you know, isn't it a right? Well, let's think about that for a moment. Let's just give him that, that it's a right, just for a second. If it's a right, it doesn't mean that I have to pay for it. I have a right to bear arms. That doesn't mean Obama's going to buy me a gun, 
All right. Great I have a right to free speech. It doesn't mean he's going to buy me a radio station. I have a right to, to freedom of the press. It doesn't mean he's going to buy me a newspaper. So just because you have a right to something doesn't mean that, you're, that we're obligated to pay for it for you. You have a right to go out and get the best health care you can possibly get, but the market decides the price and not the government. One of the things that we're going to try to do is try to elicit some consumers out there to be what we're calling the Valentine, the Valentine Army, right. to actually start giving us stories from these cities across the country and providing information. When I first sat down and talked to you about that, I said, Phil, I'm sure there are people out there that always come up to you and say, golly, you're so good at like what you do, and I'd really like to know how you got there, and how can I be like you? And now you're going to open up the door for some of these people to start learning and providing information to make them journalists and video journalists out there. How do you feel about that, actually giving opportunities to people? Well, I think it's great because, I mean, who, who uh, died and left David Gregory as God of the News? Uh, you know, I mean, it, they, they think you have to go through the journalism school and the right schools on the East Coast and do all this. The thing about it is, is that anybody can be a journalist if they're out there covering a story. And if, if you look at what YouTube has done to these stories out there, uh, you will see uh, people with their own video cameras out there covering uh, ordinary people, covering news events. And then you see what the news does as far as editing and spinning. And then you see the raw footage of what happened. What, what we saw on the news was it resembled nothing that happened on the ground when we were there doing the protest and had the people circling the Capitol blowing their horns. Nothing was similar about it. Well, you look at like what happened in Washington, D.C. when they said that the uh, senator walked through there and he got call, called racist slurs. Right. And they showed Nobody the four camera. It. Nobody did it. And if it wasn't for people like the people that are going to become the Valentine Army that show four different angles and he walked through there untouched, unscathed, and the audio never right. had racial slurs, never nobody would have been able to tell the truth. They can't hide anymore and they can't spin anymore because there are too many people with cameras out there. You know, the new, the new iPhone now has got an HD camera on it, right. I mean, for, cry, for crying out loud. So, I mean, now you got HD quality anywhere you are. Everybody's got a record of what's going on and you start to piece this record together and you get a really good indication of what happened other than one vantage point of one news camera with one news reporter that has an agenda. That's what we've been fed since TV was invented. Those That's days right. are over, and they're over thanks to you guys. There's a real important point, I think, that what you, we've talked about, and that's about that the mainstream media can't tell some stories because of politics internally, because of lobbyists that have gotten involved. Right. So it's not just what we might catch that is the truth, it's that the mainstream media isn't getting out there and telling the truth because they can't sometimes. It's the omissions out there. It's, it's what they're not telling us and it's what they don't want to tell us. And so now we have uh, all these, these choices and Obama gets in front of a a, a graduating class, you know, a few weeks, a couple of months ago, and tells these people, you, there's too much information out there. You know, there's just too much information. You need to, you need to, not look at all this stuff. It's just going to confuse you. What he wants you to do is look at his stuff and don't look at what everybody else is doing. You can't have too much information. You need all this information to assimilate and distill down to what the truth is. They want to control information. They're so afraid of what you're doing. They're so afraid of what I'm doing on talk radio, they're so afraid of the internet, that they have to try to throttle it, and they have to try to control it. And, and, and uh, I, you know, you look at this, I, I think it's the equivalent of uh, running out of gu uh, bullets and throwing your gun at the other guy. I mean, these folks are out of ammunition, so now they're going to have to try to kill the source of all of this information, and that is the internet and talk radio. What we need to do is put an A after our name for American, and that's what it should be about, and that's what you're talking about. Well, I'm Tony Loy Cono with Tea Party HD, and you heard a lot here today with Phil Valentine. And, you know, one of the things that we want to see change in this country is getting back to the basics, as Phil, you've just talked about. And uh, we want to thank you for spending time. Become part of the Valentine Army out there in one of those 72 markets that Phil is out there telling the stories and talking to people that are making a difference in this country and debating the issues that are important to each one of you. So thank you very much, and thank you today, Phil. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you.